catch with full power men. Yeah. Um, and in reality, you know, you can imbibe all the empowering messages you want and still you might go out and some guy could make a pass at you and you could turn him down and he could shoot you dead, which is a thing that happens more often than we'd like to admit. Or the example that I think is the most clear from the book, which is a young woman who was having a lot of sort of body images issues. She didn't feel good about how she looked. And a friend of her said, oh, you should do a sexy boudoir shoot and you'll see how beautiful you are. And she was like, okay. And she tried it and it worked, right? She did. Mm -hmm. She did the sexy boudoir shoot. She saw the photo. She felt great about herself. And that's usually where the faux powerment narrative ends. Um, but what actually happened after that is really important if we're going to understand what real sexual liberation looks like. Because what happened after that is she showed them to her boyfriend. He loved them too. Everything's great. But then they break up. He publishes them on the internet against her express wishes. She gets deluged with rape and death threats to the point where she was suicidal and didn't want to leave the house. No, I, I hasten to say she is fine now. But until we change the cultural circumstances that led to the second half of the story, we can't really call, call ourselves sexually free. Mm -hmm.